Ever since the first Predator movie ended with Dutch surviving his encounter with the alien hunter, the character was highly requested to return for a sequel in some way. While Dutch has been mentioned in a few sources like video games, novels, comic books, and on film, he never truly came back in the way we all wanted. I have covered information about the casting of the film Predator 2 and why Arnold turned it down to go work on other films, but there's other information about this topic that gives us a different look into why Dutch has not returned since. During a 2015 Reddit interview, Arnold was asked questions about different topics in Hollywood throughout his life. At some point, the topic shifted to his absence from the Predator franchise after the first movie. Here's what Arnold said. The sad story is that sometimes studios do a great job with creating sequels, and sometimes they really screw it up bad. And it all has to do with greed. They sometimes want to do it really cheap and make as much money as possible so they don't hire the right cast or not the right director. It's stupid kind of moves to make and therefore they lose a lot of money by doing that. He also goes on to compare the first movie that he was part of to the others that came after. He said this, So far, no Predator, no matter which one they did after the first one has come out, has been satisfactory to the audience. Over on the website Collider.com, there's a 2011 interview with John Davis, who's been a producer for all the films The Predator was in, including the two AVP films. John Davis goes on to say that the franchise is profitable for everyone. He says this, You know, those Predator movies, Tom Rothman said this to me, Man, they all seem to make money. I get a big check every year on my net points off of the original Predator. You know how hard it is to get net points on a studio movie, right? It was hugely profitable. It far exceeded its revenue on DVD than in theaters by three or four times. He was talking about the original movie when he said this. Yes, I talked to Arnold about rebooting Predator and doing something in terms of that. I think in terms of right now, it needs to rest for a couple of years. I can't see why if we can't be clever, we can't reinvent it again. John Davis then brings up the 2010 movie Predators by Robert Rodriguez, adding that it was really fun. Yeah, he changed the setting. He put it on another planet. You have to keep changing the setting. You have to find a clever way to do it. If we were going to do it with Arnold, it was like, does it make sense to go back and to put him with a young team? So maybe it's 20 years later, you have retired, and you are the one person who has survived one of these encounters. Is that a reboot in the fact that you are in it with a group of young guys? Is that a reboot? You just have to figure out a way to reboot it. Rodriguez rebooted it. It's all in the planet. The last thing he mentions is why Arnold was not in Predator 2. He says this, The sequel to the first one rebooted it. We should have had Arnold in the movie. The deal broke down over $250,000, which is a shame, but it was moved from the jungle to the city. You have to create a freshness about it. When we did Alien vs Predator, we kind of rebooted it because we put the two pieces together. You just have to give it enough time to come up with a new freshness. It is what they did so brilliantly with Fast Five. After declining the offer to be in Predator 2, Arnold went on to make some great films in the 1990s like Total Recall. Kindergarten Cop, Terminator 2, True Lies, Jingle All the Way, and Junior. Robert Rodriguez had a draft for the movie Predators in 1996. The script included Dutch for a good portion of the story. He's captured by humans that have access to Predator technology. Somehow in the story, Dutch is charged with this. The crime of desertion. For the crime of assaulting a superior officer. For the crime of theft of a transport for the crime of illegal trafficking of weapons, and for the crime of murder. They bring him to Arcus 6, which looks like Jupiter, a big orange-looking beast of a planet. When Dutch and a few other men reach the planet, they are hunted by a group of predators. At some point, as many as 20 predators are seen in the trees watching them. They also make contact with an even bigger, stronger one that is called the Black Predator. The men would later be captured by predators via these hooks that wrap around them, causing their arms to fold into themselves. The hooks are attached to a flying vehicle which comes out of the forest, dragging and then lifting them into the air like a fish hanging from a hooked line. The predators round up all the day's catch, 
throwing them over other invisible vehicles, like sacks of potatoes, and flying them high through the jungle. The men are then brought to a huge predator campsite. They see hides and unidentifiable skins hang from the trees, drying in the wind. Predators roam the site, keeping their prisoners in check. A ceremony is taking place. There seems to be a celebration underway, in thanks for the captured human and alien prey. There is a man by the name of JC. He can see they are not alone in the camp. There are other creatures kept in cells or with chains. Some are big, some are small bipeds, some on four or even eight legs, but all seem to be gifted with anger, meanness, and tenacity. They see the salamander men, teeth gnashers, and humanoid creatures with cockroach-like wings and serrated legs. This place has many creatures that will fight in front of the king predator, kind of like a huge arena, like the old days of the gladiators in Rome, where they would fight for their lives, with a huge crowd watching their battles until the very end. Eventually, Dutch survives by the end of the story, as he runs towards a ship to make his escape, the king predator chases after Dutch, jumping into the air and holding onto his ankle. Dutch shoots the king in the head, and his body falls to the ground. Dutch then escapes on a ship and heads towards Earth. This script of Predators is from 1996, but looking at Arnold's film roles, it seems he was too busy with other commitments from 1994 to 2000, or perhaps he never read it or had no interest. Then we have the revised Predators script from 2009, which kept a similar idea of men being hunted by predators on a distant planet, but with more changes to the story, like all of them being criminals that are captured by predators and transported to a game preserve. Dutch was removed almost entirely from the story and replaced with Royce, but he does make a very small appearance at the end. After Royce and Isabel defeat the Black Super Predator, the dust and clouds would begin to settle. A predator ship appears before them. As they stare, a form shimmers into view. First one predator, and then more appear. Their leader stands before them. His armor is different from the rest, covered in trophies from untold hunts. He approaches them, looks at the two survivors, the devastation, and at the slain Black Super Predator. Slowly, he removes his helmet, the face beneath, it belongs to Dutch, the man, the myth, the legend. He looks at Royce and says, not bad kid, not bad at all. The screen then smashes into black and it ends here. That's all we would have seen of Dutch in this version of the movie Predators. And as to why Arnold did not make an appearance in this movie from 2010, well it's because he was still the governor of California at the time, so he was busy with that and probably did not have much time for too many film roles. According to an article in 2010 on MTV.com, Adrian Brody was promoting the DVD release of Predators at a New York Comic Con. The topic of Arnold playing as Dutch did get mentioned. He said this, I was hoping he would be in this film, Brody said. It would have been great, I really was hoping. There was a version we were going to do that had a different ending, that it really would have been fitting for Schwarzenegger to be there. It would have been like him passing the gauntlet to my character, and the bravery of my character proven. That would have been just epic. As you may have guessed, Schwarzenegger was a bit busy being governor of California, so that never happened. Dutch was going to be in the 2018 movie directed by Shane Black. But after reading the script written in 2016, Arnold turned it down because his role was just too short. Dutch's appearance in this movie was limited to somewhere near the very end. After they defeat the assassin hybrid predator, a chopper is seen coming to land near their location. Casey says, It's weird. The file was all about how honorable these things are. But this one, he wasn't about hunting. No sporting chance, nothing. Just slaughter. McKenna says, you said it yourself, it had human DNA, they're becoming more like us. Casey then says, McKenna, did we, did we just start a war? Now a voice from the chopper speaks to them, negatory, the war's already started. They look up as, framed in the hatchway, reveal, Dutch Schaefer, the predator's first adversary, face haunted, etched by pain. Schaefer identifies himself. Dutch Schaefer, U.S. Special Forces, come with me. 
Rory then asks, "Um, me too." Schaefer nods, smiles grimly, and says, "Especially you." And the film ends here. That was pretty much the role Arnold was given in this movie. After he declined it, an alternate ending was already prepared just in case this would happen. There is an article on the website digitalspy.com about Arnold's involvement with this movie. It says this: the studio wanted a fresher movie that featured an evolving cast. They didn't want to hinge the movie on the reemergence of Schwarzenegger. It would probably be more of a matter of him showing up briefly and just participating at the very end, at the climax of the movie. Arnold told the director Shane Black this: "Look." That's kind of a small part, and I don't really think I want to do that. I'm off to do Terminator with Jim Cameron, basically, or for Jim Cameron. Shane Black even said this to him: "If you're in this one, we would open it up for the sequel because now you're back in the franchise. So you know, if there's another movie, there's no reason why he couldn't be either in it or the star of it, or whenever someone decides at a future date." But Arnold was not going to do any more cameo appearances. Shane Black also added, "So I totally got it. You know, if I was Schwarzenegger, I'd want to be one of the stars of a film or nothing." Despite Dutch not really coming back for a major part of a Predator story on film, he was brought back within the story of the video game Predator Hunting Grounds through collectible audio tapes. The story, which unfolds about Dutch, is really amazing. We've always wanted Dutch to come back in a big way, and that's what you get here. He does return to hunt other predators, but he's also been modified genetically in some way to make him stronger than he was during his younger years. To see the full story about Dutch's return to the Predator franchise, I will leave links to those videos. And that covers the topic of why Arnold did not return as Dutch for another Predator movie. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a thumbs up rating. I'm going to be covering the upcoming Prey movie, which is being released in August. To see more videos like this, just subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. This is Carlos or Acid Glow, and I'll see you on the next hunt.